When you're in your developer docs or you're even in Postman, how do you get this nice orange Run in Postman button? If you have a collection that you want to embed, you can go to the Overflow menu and tab over to Via Run in Postman. If you want to add an environment, you can do that now, but I'll show you how to generate a dynamic environment on the fly. So there's two choices. You can toggle over to Markdown Friendly, copy this over to your clipboard, but in this case, because we want to generate a dynamic environment, let's leave it on HTML Friendly. And right away, you can see the code down below. You can see there's a div element that's going to contain our Run and Postman button. And then below that, we have a script tag that contains the function that will generate that collection. So let's take a look at this in action. I have a GitHub repo, and you can see that there's an app.js file and an index.html file, so a basic web page that I've already spun up and opened that index.html file here. So there's two instructions. One is to input a value. Let's go ahead and say, here's our secret passphrase. And when we save, we're actually gonna submit this input. And now we're gonna click the Run and Postman button. If we've done this correctly, then we've inserted the passphrase with this key string into a dynamic button. So when I fork it, I give it a label, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into this workspace here. And you can see that I think it's worked. A copy of the passphrase environment will be imported along with the collection. So let's go ahead and fork that collection. Where is my cat? And here is that collection that I forked into this workspace. And if I go over to the environment, I've also forked over an environment called passphrase. And here's the passphrase, here's a string that I entered. So what's going on behind the scenes? Let's go over to that index.html file and look at the code behind that website we were in. So here's the HTML and you can see that I'm on the body here. We have an input form where we are going to be saving the value that we enter into this input, text input. And then there's also this div down here. This is the first half of the code snippet that Postman generated when we said, let's share via Run and Postman. So here's that identifying information for the Run and Postman button. Now let's look over to the JavaScript. We could have added this to the same file as before using a script tag, but in this case, I have a separate JS file. And here is that snippet that was the second half of what Postman generated. And this part, this is something that I wrote. I created a create env function that uses the pm underscore pm method to create an environment that captures the data that's input into that text form and then stuffs it into this run and postman button. And this create env function will be invoked when, you guessed it, when the input form is submitted. And that's it. That's how you can create environments on the fly and update them as well.